I welcome you back to part three of our series on VAR and four-way causality checks in EVUs. If you are yet to subscribe to Country Econometrics videos, please I enjoin you to do so. Subscribe. You can click on the playlist below for all the video tutorials on EVUs. I also enjoy your feedback. Please comment. Let me know any areas that you want me to improve. If you have been impressed so far or if you have gained anything from my tutorials, please give me your likes and also share my links with your friends, your academic community and social community networks. On the screen is the model we are working with. And in part two, I have covered the regressor state statistics check. I've covered Granger stroke world causality test. Now I'm going to cover world coefficient test and pairwise Granger causality test. That is what we are doing in today's tutorial. Check three and check four. Just as a recap, this is the step-by-step -step procedure. So make sure you have loaded your data, test for stationarity, specify the model correctly, test for optimal lags, run the VAR model, perform the causality checks, then run your diagnostic. So these are just a simple step-by-step -step procedure that you have to do. For us to perform the word coefficient test, we will need the number of these coefficients. The way they are now, it will be difficult for us to perform the world coefficient test. So for us to get the numerical ordering of each of these coefficients and also their probability values, we have to click here, PROC. Then we'll select Make System. Then from there, we maneuver to Order by Variable. It brings you to this interface where each equation is spelled out indicating the their specifications. So you can see that each coefficient here now has a number. So it is this number that we are going to use to test in the world coefficient test. So next, you click the estimate button. And in this estimation method, remember VAR, ARDL are all estimated by OLS. So you don't change anything, you just click OK. So this is where we are now. Each coefficient here takes a number and we can see the probability values. So let's kick off. Below this table, we have the respective equations all spelled out here. You can see equation log of PDI, equation log of PCE, and the one for GDP. And you can see their coefficients taking a number. So this is what we are going to test, whether these coefficients have any causal effects on the dependent variables. So let's start with the PCE regressors. We can see here that PCE takes coefficient 3 and coefficient 4. So going back to this uh, result here, let's even see what coefficient 3 has. Coefficient 3 is here. We can see significance at the 1% level. And coefficient 4, as we can see here, is weakly significant at 10%. These are the coefficients relating to PCE. You can see the number here, C3, C4. So, so let's proceed to world to see whether these coefficients have any causal effect on PDI. To do that, we go to view, we click on coefficient diagnostics, and we select world coefficient test. So here we type in the coefficients. You can see I've typed it in C3 equals C4 equals 0. I click OK. And the null hypothesis is that these coefficients are equal to 0 against the alternative that they are not equal to 0. And the decision criteria is that we will reject the null hypothesis if the probability value of the chi square statistic is lower than 0 0.05. And this is what we have here. So we are rejecting this null hypothesis. So by rejecting that null hypothesis, what does that tell you? It tells you that PCE has a causal effect on PDI in the short run. That is the interpretation of this result. Now let's go ahead to check for the influence of GDP on PDI. The coefficients of GDP takes C5 and C6. And from here, C5 is significant at 5% and C6 is not significant at all. But let us test. We go to view, coefficient diagnostics, world. We type in C5, C6. So that is the null hypothesis. We click OK. The result telling us that GDP has no causal effects on PDI. So next thing we are going to check is on equation PCE. 
we are testing whether the coefficients of PDI and also the coefficients of GDP have any causal effect. And from the main result here, coefficients 8 and 9 are not significant at all. You may decide not to even test because this one shows there is no causal effect. But let's just see anyway. So we go to view, coefficient diagnostics, world, and we type 8 and 9. The outcome is not surprising because even the T statistics and the P values indicate no causal effect. Still on equation PCE, now let's check the coefficients of GDP on PCE, looking at coefficient number 12 and 13. And here, coefficient 12 is at 5% significance level, coefficient 13 is not significant at all. So let us subject that to test. We go to view, coefficient test, world. And we type C12 and 13. The outcome of the lagged uh, coefficients of GDP indicates that they are significant in causing PCE. So this is the outcome of our wall test. We are rejecting this null hypothesis. So GDP has a causal short-run effect on PCE. So by now you have an idea of how to run this test. So let us do the same thing for GDP. We are looking at influence of PDI and PCE. So testing coefficient 15 and 16 from the output here, coefficient 15 is not significant, but that of 16 is significant at the 5% level. So let's go to view, coefficient diagnostics, world, and we are typing 15 and 16. We click OK, and the outcome of the result tells us that there is a causal impact from um, PDI to GDP is significant at the 1% level. So lastly, we are testing coefficients of PCE on GDP, looking at coefficients 17 and 18. From the general output here, coefficient 18 is not significant, but 19 is significant at the 1% level. But let us subject that to world test. We'll go to view again, coefficient diagnostics, world with type in coefficients 17 and 18. Here's the outcome. So here we have a validation that PCE has a short-run causal effect on GDP. So guys, this is a world test that can validate if there is any form of causality in the short-run in your VAR model. So this is the third check. Let us go ahead now to perform the fourth check. So to perform our fourth check, we are back to our original output for our VAS system. And all you have to do is to go to Quick, Group Statistics, and you click on Granger Causality Test. Now we want to perform the pairwise Granger Causality Test, which will show us the direction of causality. We'll click OK. So the number of lags to include is two. Remember, AIC criterion we are using is 2 lakhs. So we click OK. So now we have the pairwise Granger causality test indicating the direction of causality. So these are the various null hypotheses. Let's look at this first one. PCE does not Granger cause PDI. is very significant at the 1% level. So we are rejecting that null hypothesis. So here we are saying that PCE Granger causes PDI. But there is no bi-causality from PDI to PCE. Because looking at the p-value at 71.97%, PDI does not grant cause PCE. So in this section, we only have a unidirectional causality from PCE to PDI, given the value of the F statistic and the probability value. Let's look at this section here. GDP does not grant cause PDI we cannot reject that null hypothesis. So there is no causality from GDP to PDI. Same thing, there is no causality from PDI to GDP. So this one is an independent causality. It's an independent relationship. Both variables cannot cause one another. Let's look at this last one. GDP does not grant your cause PCE that null hypothesis is rejected because it's very significant, as you can see. Same thing goes for PCE does not grant your cause GDP. 
we also reject that null hypothesis. So in this section, we have what we call a bidirectional causality. So this result is a mixture of unidirectional in this place, independent causality in this place, and bidirectional causality in this place. So this is pairwise Granger causality test. This is the fourth way by which you can check for causality in your model. Them out on the table, as you can see, my table two, with PDI as dependent variable, using the word statistic, we can see that PC is significant, and using the pairwise Granger causality check, we can see that PCE Granger causes PDI. When PC is a dependent variable, GDP is significant, using the pairwise Granger test, GDP Granger causes PCE. Looking at the GDP equation, both PDI and PCE were significant using the word test. But using the pairwise Granger, only PCE Granger causes GDP. Remember what I said in the first tutorial. These tests can be used to validate one another. They can serve as robustness checks for one another. You can use anyone to check for causality in your model. Again, by way of emphasis, you use the T-statistics of the explanatory variable to indicate short-run causal effects. You use the F-statistics that I just showed you now and the chi-square statistics from Granger and World to indicate short-run causality. Again, each of these tests can serve as robustness for one another. For staying with me, in the next video, I'm going to put you through some diagnosis checks and give you a recap of all the four checks that we have done. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click on the bell beside it so that you can get my videos the moment I upload.